so welcome to my channel again today I will be solving basic 2 pen testing or the second series of basic pen testing on vulnerable hub today I will be walking you through this machine as you can see I have just finished rooting the machine as you can see basic pen testing to root so now let's close this and start over so let me clear okay so first thing first what we do first is scanning or scanning the network for possible IP addresses to discover and find out the IP address of the vulnerable machine so net discover my interface Ethernet 0 range this is the network IP address the subnet masks and the CIDR 24 so we, sc we start scanning and I click on finish so here is my the IP address of our target so next we go ahead and scan the machine using nmap nmap a for aggressive P for all ports and scan all the services the IP address and go ahead so the machine simply the machine simply is easy and it's not complicated, it doesn't require advanced exploitation, it doesn't require the knowledge and the mastery of buffer overflow. So it's easy, it's as easy as mm, brute forcing, um, enumeration, and so on. So we see now we have a couple of open ports. So we have SSH, we have the HTTP port on, oh sorry, HTTP protocol. Uh, which is open on 80 and port 8080 and here we have Samba um, service running and yes that's it so whenever you s we see Samba during pen testing or during CTF challenge the first thing we prefer is doing or enumerating, enumerating the current domain the working groups the um, file shares, the servers, the users, and the machine. But in our case, since we are doing CTF challenge, we are only interested in a couple of things, among which are the users. So we start with this uh, clear Enio for Linux, and here we type the IP address. So now we are enumerating the machine see what, what, what we can get so here's now it's enumerating the users and if you scroll a bit above we see that we have information about the server the worker group and it seems that um, Yeah, this is information about the Samba server. And if you scroll down, you see there is an enumeration of user is taking place. But we are interested in users. So here we have, as you can see, Unix user K, Unix another Unix user is Jam. So now what we can do now is after getting users. What we can do now is Control C, clear. But you might be wondering what is there in the web server. So basically, if you go to the web page of the web server, you will find nothing default. Basically, default web page for Tomcat server. So let's go to the main web page on port 
AD, we see that it's undergoing maintenance. So we have nothing here to look to look for. So we saw that we have another port. This is a default page for Apache Tomcat. So here, basically, we don't have anything uh, that might form an interest to us. So we such close this down. And now we have now only the SSH port or uh, SSH protocol. <laughs> I'm confusing. So SSH uh, protocol on 22 port. So now we have to next step to brute force. Okay. Since we have users Jan and K, next step is to brute force the password for um, John. I think John. Yes. So what we use is Hydra. The user is John. The password, which is of course, we will use Rocky.txt. And the target protocol is SSH. Simply put the IP address. Okay. So after typing this command, all we have to do is enter and Hydra will go through the word list here, circle around, rolling over the word list to find the password for you. Since this takes time to find the password, as the rocky.txt is not a small list, I will skip this part, okay, and type the password directly, since it takes time. So all you have to do is type this command and you will have the password for John. So let's backspace. Okay, so my notes here. So I have John with the password Armando. So let's go ahead and log in with John. the password mm. let's copy okay so now we are logged in as John so first thing to do is navigate to home directory this what are the files so we have John we have K. If you try to go to K, so now we have the files listed under home directory of K. So we have SSH. Let's try. Okay, so now we have here the private key for the login to the, to the SSH server using K. Since we don't know the password for K yet, here the ID or the private key of the, for the SSH is very useful for this. So what we can do is cat the key. Okay. Now what you need to do in this case is copying the private key. Heading to on the terminal and touch a file or a, or a key file on your desktop. So leave pad id rsa. You simply paste the key here and save. So it turns to a private key. Now your next step is now you have the private key you need to extract the password for this private key in order to log in to the SSH server as a key so what you need to do now another cracking step but right now we will not brute force we will crack the password using uh, first we will use SSH to John and id rsa this command 
will convert the private key into crackable password so we will put this in another file called sshk so now we have a file that if we open this file we will see this long singles so we need now to crack this okay you say it using john so john shk and you hit enter okay after the password is cracked okay you just grab the password and log into k okay now since i have the password before uh, and, I and i had done this before i will not let you wait for the password to be cracked you just need to write the exact command i wrote here and we go here and the password will be these walks oops no 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 what happens typos are a big problem so let's copy this password cancel sh Oops, we forgot something. So we need to SSH K and specify the private key for which or by which we will log in. So now it says bad permissions. Yes, so we need to set the permissions for the private key, and this is very important. So the right permissions are, I think, are 700. And then you type the command again. So it asks for the password for the IDRSA. We type these walks and we enter. And now we are logged in as K. Check our ID. So we are now K. Our next step is to escalate our privilege to root. So let's cd first to K or to home. Okay, now we have an interesting file which is password of backup. So let's scan this file. So it says here, here um, are, here is a really strong password that follows the password policy. It seems that this is kind of password, and it really it is. So this is password that you will use for what? For escalating your privilege. So if you do sudo sl, it says password for k. If you paste down this password, it will work, and it works. So as you can see, k has all the privilege to run all the commands. Okay. So if you try to cd to root, it says permission denied. What we need to do is sudo su and you are root okay because k has all the privilege to execute any command including sudo su so now we are root okay if you type id and it is root now what you need to do is go to root this defies cat flag and now you have cracked the pen testing too congratulations and happy hacking